some guys here at Bingo, my, my buddy. And we're gonna look at uh, just when you do double legs, everybody gets caught in kicks games, man. And uh, I've done a lot of videos on this, but it's, it's okay to revisit these kind of things because I forget a lot of details. And then I'll see someone get caught in the, in the guillotine going, uh, going for a double leg. So, um, you know, I don't mind doing it, it's fun. So one thing with the double leg takedown, I'm gonna have you switch this to me. When I'm shooting, stand, stand, uh, stance. When I'm shooting for the double leg, you, you just have to know that the guillotine's gonna come, guys. It's just, that's part of doing jiu-jitsu. That's his, that's his defense. If I go for a double leg, he can either sprawl his legs back, like that, or you can start attacking my neck. So it's just a part of the game. You know, I have a move, he has a move. And you, you just, if you're gonna do the double leg takedown, or you just need to be prepared for it, okay? So what if I'm going for the double leg takedown? I've shown a few variations, like the Moro Tegari, next dance for everybody. The Moro Tegari, not placing your knee on the floor. I've also shown shooting with the knee on the floor, okay? Regardless, he can still try to tap my, my neck and you know, you can try to jump far, that's one option. Sometimes, even before I go down, you can catch my neck and just posture up. And you might jump right here. So he's got a lot of different options. And what you're gonna see is that some guys, they're, they're not good at takedowns, but they're very good at baiting you to go for takedowns. So if someone's kind of like leaving their legs open and it seems like it's too easy, it might be too easy, okay? <laughs> So again, whenever you're going for a double leg takedown, my thought process is to go for the takedown. But if, if I, as soon as I feel that arm coming around, I need to switch over into a defensive mode, okay? Because if I, if I keep trying to do my takedown and he's strangling me, it doesn't matter if I take him down, he's gonna finish me, right? Okay? So again, when I shoot that double leg, I know it's gonna come. So I'm gonna switch into a defensive mode. So I'm here, I shoot. As soon as I feel his arm coming around my neck, like in your peripheral vision, as soon as I see that coming, I need to transition, okay? So I'm gonna show a few different angles so you guys can see. So I'm gonna just put my knee on the floor here. Yeah, stay there like you are. Keep this like a yeah. So my first line of defense, guys, is my posture. So whenever I do the double leg, I need to have a straight back. If my head is down, I just do the arm without the arm in, yeah. If my head is down, you see how it's easy for him to get the leverage to crank on my neck. Go back. When my head is up, go around. It's going to be harder because now I'm putting pressure on his shoulder. Okay? And that's not going to last forever, but that's the first line of defense. Not keeping your head down where he can easily control you. I need to keep my head up. And from here, I'm going to switch and let you see it later. But the leg that's on the far side leg, the arm that's on the far side leg, I'm gonna let go and go towards his shoulder. And now I'm gonna posture up. Posture up again. Okay, that's another line of defense. You can't posture up to crank on the, the, the neck now. And now all I'm gonna do is turn the corner towards his, his uh, back, all right? And so to do that, a lot of times I'll switch my face. You can either switch your face, that helps too. Or you know, if I'm short on time, I'll just step and go. So switching my face, I place my my uh, knee, the other knee down. At the same time, I'm gonna grab this leg. And now what I'm gonna do, and I can't see it now, but I'll, I'll show a different angle. I'm gonna force him down as I stand up. And my goal is gonna be to get him to plant that arm on the floor. So from here, he's still kind of up. I'm gonna leverage him down and pull him down. You see how he wants to post his hand? As soon as he posts his hands, he's let go. Now I have a few different options. I can I can switch back to a double leg takedown, or keeping my hand on his uh, back, I can switch towards his back. Okay. Let's look at that again from a different angle. So again, guys, I'm here. I shoot. He goes for the guillotine. Go back. So I need to go before he can grab his arms together. So again, my first line of defense: posture up. I was on both his legs, let go, far side arm goes towards his shoulder, uh, uh, near side arm stays on his leg, and look, I switch my face. As I switch my face, that just helps me pull him down even more. If I keep my knee up, it's kind of hard to pull, but when I switch my legs, I'm stronger at pulling, 
And now all I'm gonna do is stand up. As I stand up, guys, I'm gonna bring his leg up with me. Because I don't want him standing up tall. I wanna pull him down. And sometimes I have to run after him. There. If he doesn't close his hands, he's gonna fall on his face. So he makes that decision. From here, I can switch to the double leg. Boom. Or leg go the leg. You see how you can hold? There's nothing, there's no more guillotine, right? I can switch to, to his back. From here, I can pull him back down. Or switch to the back and hold both arms. Alright? Let's do that one more time. I'm just gonna go, not full speed, but just without instructions so you guys can see a few times. Alright guys, so that was just one way to defend the guillotine when you're going for a double leg. And it's going to be a little bit different if he tries to jump guard. But for now, I think that's good enough for you guys. I just want to show a quick easy fix. This way, especially for wrestlers, they get killed in a guillotine. So um, just be mindful. If you go for a double leg kickdown, your neck is open. So again, when I'm here, I shoot, I see this happen, I can't keep attacking both legs. Again guys, I switch my base, look my arms, they have a turn of things like, now I'm pretty safe. You know, because look, look at how my head is on his, on his uh, back now. It's almost impossible to finish this once I just mess up. Again, I come up, and I gave him the plan. If he keeps his arms together, he's gonna fall onto his face. Fall to the chip, fall to your back, yeah. Even if he keeps his arms together, trying to finish the choke, it's gonna be very difficult. And look, the hand that was around his shoulder stays on his back. I'm gonna put my shoulder into his face. At the same time, I start to open up his arms. Okay. Alright guys, so that was the thing you get to me on the double leg.